Hey everyone and welcome back to my makeup channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a bunch of Kylie lip kits. I'm so excited I've got my hands on a few of these. Um, I thought I'd try a few more of the crazy colours, more of the deep reds and the purples and see how they turn out. So I haven't got anything on my lips at the moment and I'm just going to start off with the lighter colours as I have heard from some people that they tend to stain your lips a little bit so if you were planning on going out um, and you did start off with a dark colour you might find it hard to change into a lighter nude colour throughout the night so I'm going to start off with Dolce K um, just by looking at the packets, I haven't tried any of these yet, but just by looking at this so far, this one looks like it would be a colour that I would wear daily, um, as opposed to like the deep purples or something. So um, every packet comes a lip liner and a lipstick. So I'm just going to pop the lip liner all over my lips first. A lot of the um, Pro Longwear by MAC, which I love. Um, now this is the... So it's just a little wand on the end. It's very brown. Considering this is the lightest colour I've got, it's quite dark. But I still like this one. I'm just going to leave this on for a couple of minutes and just see how quickly it dries and how hard it is to wipe off because um, oh, this one was here. because they are meant to be um, mattifying and um, I have also heard that they can dry your lips out a little bit. So I've had this um, lip colour on now for probably a couple of minutes. It's very dry and it's quite sticky. But it's a really nice matte colour. I do feel like it's a little bit drying on my lips so if I was going to wear this out I would definitely recommend putting some pawpaw or some um, lip balm on underneath just to prevent your lips from cracking. Oh my god this is so hard to get off. Look. It's not coming off. <laughs> I think I'm going to need something stronger. I'll be back. Okay, so I used some eye makeup remover to get it off my lips. Um, there's still a bit of a stain on there, but it's as best as I could get it off. Um, now I'm going to go in with the next colour, which is the True Brown K. So it's a little bit darker if you compare it with this colour next to it. So I'll give that one a go. Same thing, just covering my lips with the lip liner first, then going in with the lipstick. I love the lip liner, it's so easy to move around. It's not too much of a dry pencil. I love like crown type lip liners. Crayon. So that's just the lip liner. This colour looks like it's going to be really dark. I do find it hard to get coverage, like one coat you'd still see through to your lip. You can see how it's quite transparent you'd need to do a few coats to get a full color so here we have true brown K so it's quite dark but I, I must say I do like it as a change because I don't usually wear very many dark lip colors but it's quite nice it is very hard to get on neatly like I found it quite runny and a little bit leaked down here but it does dry very quickly and in saying that now it's going to be really hard for me to try and get it off to show you the next colour. 
Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, my next colour I've got, um, Posey K. I'm actually really excited for this one because I love plum kind of lip colours. So, oh, this one looks pretty. It looks a lot lighter in the, in the lipstick than the packaging. So just covering my lips first with the lip liner. It's very pink. So much pinker than this. <laughs> Here's Posy K on my lips. It looks a lot more pink on me than the packaging. To me, I thought it was going to be more purple, but it's quite pink. But the more it's drying, as it mattifies, it does give it a more plum look. So I have two red shades here to choose from. Um, there's Mary Jo K and 22. Um, they look pretty similar. So I'm just gonna pick one to do. So maybe I'll do um, Mary Jo. I'll use the other one in my red lip video that I'll be doing soon. So you can see what that one's like as well. Mary Jo K. So just going over my lips first, the lip liner. Oh my god, look. It comes out so easily. So that is only the lip liner on at the moment. It's very, it's more of like a, um, like a cherry red. This actually is really nice, this colour. But it is so messy. It is so messy. And because it's so red, if it gets on your skin and you wipe it off, it kind of stains a bit pink there. So just go slow and just be careful where you're putting it. Mm. It dries really quick, so try and get it on evenly. Otherwise you might feel that it'll build up and go a little bit like lumpy because it's quite, it mattifies instantly. Definitely love the deep, beautiful red color it is when it dries. So that one was Mary Jo K. Now I'm just going to remove um, Mary K Jo. Mary Jo K. <laughs> it is so hard to get off. So choose what colour you're going to wear and stick with it because, oh my god. <laughs> Healthy. Now uh, the last colour I'm going to try is Court K. Um, this is the darkest colour at the moment that I've got. Um, I'm pretty excited but definitely if you're going to wear this colour out just don't put a lighter colour on after because I've just spent the last 10 minutes rubbing the red off my lips. So the last Kylie Lip Kit colour I'm going to review today is Court K which is the darkest lip kit I have. Um, just bearing in mind that if you are going to try the lip kits on before you go out, that they do stain, so this one will be really hard to remove if you want to wear more of a light nude colour. So that's just the lip pencil. And now for the lipstick. So there we go. It's a very nice dark, almost like a mauvey purple color. Um, the packet makes it look a little bit more brown than I'd say it is in real life, but I actually really like this colour, um, so that's a thumbs up from me. 
The only thing I've noticed overall from the Kylie Lip Kits that I personally don't like is they are really drying, which means after a little while, about an hour or something, they do start to flake and peel off a little bit. So you do need to reapply. And sometimes it's good to just put some pawpaw over the top just so they keep your lips looking nice and fresh because nobody likes flaky lips. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video of the Kylie lip kits and what my first reactions were and which colors I personally liked. Um, I'll leave the names of all the colors that I used today in the description. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.